there will be no Pro Tools 13. <coughs> Let's take a moment now to look back at the history of Pro Tools. <coughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Pro Tools ain't going anywhere. Instead, the versioning is changing. If you compare it to help and about, you can see we have version 2018.1. And if you have a current update plan, you have probably seen Pro Tools 2018.1 in your Avid account. What does this mean? So we're done with 12, or we're done with 13, 14, so on and so forth. And I'll have links for these, uh, by the way, in the description in case you want to read about this yourself. But as you can see, and this, by the way, this affects Media Composer uh, as well. They're changing the versioning from 12, 13, or you know, we had seven, we had eight, we had nine, so on and so forth. They're changing it to 2018 because that is the year. And then point one, what does the one mean? Well, the point one refers to the month that version is released. Pretty simple, actually. And that helps to correspond to the licensing system. You know that even if we have a perpetual license, uh, we still need to have that update plan if we want to get further updates. So if your update plan happens to expire, say 2018 uh, in February, that, that would be 2018.2. So if we happen to get an update of Pro Tools, uh, 2018.2 version, then you know that's going to be the last version that you will be able to update to without upgrading your uh, update plan or continuing uh, your update plan. So you won't be able to get on 2018.3. So that's what the point one means. All right, point one is the month. And just as explained here, again, this will be linked below if you want to read this yourself. A February release will be 2018.2. March will be 2018.3. Uh, June will be 2018.6. Now, what do you do if you have multiple releases within a month? Say we get something, uh, you know, say we get something at the first of the month and then there's an urgent patch needed or something like that. Well, in that case, we'll get a third number added on. So 2018.1.1. If we have, you know, we already have 2018.1 because this is January. So 2018, January is the first month. So 2018.1. If we happen to get another update before the end of the month, it would be 2018.1.1 instead of 2018.1.0. And again, this, this, uh, uh, corresponds with Media Composer as well, as and it will also come to other Avid Avid products. And like I said, it really makes more sense for the uh, current licensing system of Pro Tools. Instead of having 12.7, 12.8, and then you look at your update plan and you're like, well, what versions exactly do I get? I don't know. Well, this is much, much simpler. If your plan expires 2019.2 or 2019 uh, in February, you know you'll only get an update up to 2019.2. Another thing to consider is there's not always going to be updates every single month. So what if we have an update this month, which we did in, in January, 2018 came out, 2018.1. If we skip February and go right to March, it's not going to be 2018.2 for March. It will be 2018.3 because it always corresponds to the month. You may also see Pro Tools represented as 18.1 or 18.2, so on and so forth, instead of the full uh, 2018.1 and whatnot, just for reasons when, say, a software uh, installer does not support four characters at the base number, you know, the exe file, the installer, and uh, whatnot. So just be aware of that as well. 2018.1.1 is the same as 18.1.1. Lots of uh, great enhancements in here. In Pro Tools 2018, lots of great enhancements, including, including, by the way, track presets. I know there's a lot of confusion out there about the uh, the new convention for nu for numbering your your version of Pro Tools, but it actually makes much more sense. I mean, consider the way Pro Tools is being updated now. We're not holding uh, features for a year or two because a lot of times there would only be one update, one giant update once a year or maybe even uh, once every two years. It doesn't make sense whenever we're getting brand new features constantly because if we had Pro Tools 12, the difference between Pro Tools 12.9 would be negligible between Pro Tools 12.9 and Pro Tools 13. It wouldn't make any sense. It would be such a tiny little update. It wouldn't make sense, especially that you would need an upgrade plan anyway. So it might sound confusing, but again, it's not. It's simply the year, the month, and then if there's any other releases during that month, then you'll get that third number. And by the way, look at this here. Come to an insert. We can save track presets right here. Recall inserts, a whole list of inserts all at once. It's, it's a pretty cool stuff instead of just our plugins. But again, I'll have all of this linked below so you can check out this information for yourself, but that is your new versioning system for Avid, Pro Tools, and Media Composer.